Alright, so let's get this over with. As loved as the Call of Duty franchise is, it's never going to be as interesting as the people who play it. Not the normal ones, of course. I mean the ones who spaz out because they can't get their way. Like the 31-year-old man who threatened to shoot the employees of a Best Buy because they ran out of copies of Modern Warfare 3, only they didn't come back and try to blow it up. Or the men who rammed the truck filled with video games just to steal 6,000 copies of Modern Warfare 3. Not saying that the Call of Duty players are just filled with retards, just saying that the annual dropping of the Call of Duty franchise tends to bring out more retards than any other franchise. Alright, now that I've filled my quota to annoy people and have them write their little comments at the bottom telling me how much they hate me, let's actually discuss Modern Warfare 3. As much as people like to claim, Call of Duty is not a bad game. Quite the opposite, actually. It's really quite a good game that focuses on tight controls, set pieces, and small linear map. The problem is that if you played one Call of Dildo, you pretty much played all the others, minus some glitter. So saying that the series lacks innovation, it's like saying that a small penis lacks death. The game takes place right after the conclusion of Modern Warfare 2, and sadly, it stays on the same tempo throughout the whole game. The story isn't bad by any means, but compared to the previous two, it's obviously the weakest of the series. While ending it, but not really providing any satisfaction. Kinda like that small penis I was talking about earlier, no matter how much it drags on and goes over and over, there's no real feeling or weight. Throughout the story is shuffled away throughout the signature series style that we've all become accustomed to, switching from characters to provide a different uh, to provide different events of focus for you to play with. But most of you don't care about the story, you come to the series for the multiplayer. Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer is the same deathmatch and the rest of the friends that tag along, with newcomer being kill confirmed, which is supposed to help you learn to play more as a team. But 9 times out of 10, you're going to be killing somebody who's like 10 feet in front of you because the maps are small, so you're going to be lone wolfing it up anyway. But I will admit, a team that knows what they're doing, they can do some real damage here and completely wipe out everybody. Spec Ops, on the other hand, does make a return, but once again, it's going to be like dead in 2 months anyway. The perk system from the last game has been redesigned to help out more. It seems Infinity Ward Volume 2 decided that the uber players from the last series were having too much fucking fun and decided to support the suckier players by giving perks directly based on playstyles. That way you will be given more incentive to play different roles. That way you will be appreciated whether you're stabbing, shooting, supporting, or sucking off your enemy behind a fire barrel. This time everyone gets appreciated. Hooray! And continuing on with this shit, as some of you may know, earlier this year I said that the Call of Duty Elite series was a stupid idea. Well I'm retracting my statement, I was wrong. It's only stupid if you're not a hardcore Call of Duty fan. For those who actually pay for the maps every year, then it's a good idea since you'll be able to save 5 or 10 dollars and you'll get updated stack tracking, which is good for you. Okay, I'm just going to end it here. I mean, what the fuck else is there to talk about? If you're a fan of Call of Duty, chances are you already have the game, you prestiged, and you jacked off on the box art, and you didn't come here just to have me solidify your justification of your purchase. Really, the reason you came here is probably just to bitch and whine because I have sucks in the title of my video. Is Call of Duty fun? Yes, it can be very fun. But most of the people don't come to the series expecting innovation. At this point, it's like buying Madden every year. People do it because that's what they are using to and that's what their friends are doing. You don't stop fucking your wife after a decade of marriage and apparently you don't stop buying Call of Duty because it's the same shit every year. No one opinion matters, your opinion matters. If you like the game, you buy it and everything else and everyone else can just go suck a dick. I mean hell, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that I didn't enjoy the game because I did, but the reason I really got the game is quite simple. I needed to kill Makarov.